are you seeing over these days? You have to be so careful what you say, how you say it, when and where you say it, and who you say it to. Because there are two instances I actually embarrass my own self, or I get embarrassed. No, at work, they had this big group in, into the resort. So I was at the front desk, you know, chit-chatting with the guests, them asking them what activities they would like to take part in, you know, try to be real hospitable. See this nice lady coming towards me, and she was about nine months pregnant. She was, her bed was really big. So big and happy, one say, oh my God, how are you? She said, oh, boy, thank you, thank you, Colin, I'm so happy to be here. And she kind of loved it. So we said, um, how far are you? How, um, when are you going to have the baby? Do you mind paying the paper? I am not even pregnant. And get the F out of my way. Hello? When me hear the woman who went scream out of me, we could move. I want to dig a hole and go down in the hole and cover back the hole. But it was impossible. As a shame that I got to that puppy. And everybody watching me now, seeing what I can do. I couldn't say a word. I'm a hook at them. Who not run go laugh? Who not move? Because they are guessing from them. So guess that will have a family. Plus, my co-workers, them. Listen to me. I stand up in shock. Like, give me a shock from a, a high-voltage power electric card. So you have to be careful what you say to people. And next time, they tell you, they say have a nice woman who is doing weight loss. Um, she's a weight loss specialist. And she buy a special doctor firm. So I must go up because I lose over 185 pounds. But yeah, 100, yeah, 25 to 40 pounds that just not coming off. Not care what me do. Even so, me am E, me still not lose the weight. So me go up there, me, me appointment, me go by doctor, by uh, my special clinic, please. And they tell the car my number and tell me it's my time to go in to see the woman. And they say go to door number three. Me go to door number three, me knock, this person come in. When me push the door, I'm a peep in. Me say, in my mind, no. Like this, the uh, receptionist said me at the wrong time because there's somebody here who a patient is here, um, in human, human chair. So I say, excuse me, I'm looking with Dr. Uh, Juliet Simmons. She say, this is me. Hello? The woman who's a wheat specialist is about close to 450 pounds. So I said, no, 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 I'm not going to be a real doctor. The doctor herself, um, her, um, she's the one who um, I am here to see. Um, to, so I said, um, have you finished your, your consultation? The woman said, no, 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 I am Juliet. The doctor, about four times my size. The doctor have a belly and she. He better sit down and she too like them. I said, but Lord of mercy. So I said, okay, let me come right back. I'm going to drink some water. I feel I'm a bit thirsty, and I'll be right back. She said, okay. Me take up my bag. I head out of the army clinic day. I may never go back. Because you can't tell me, me going to a woman who's about four times my size to tell me how to manage my weight. Isn't that right? So me pick up me bag and me go home. Me say, no, sir. So you be so careful these days. What you say? When you see them? Pa you see them? And who you see them to? Yes. Shame, you see? And about two days after, me see you, man, I watch. Me see when I walk, I watch me. Me come here next week. Yes. Embarrassment at home.